So far we've modeled in the Subnautica theme this cylinder hole thing with the ladder and we've done a trash can and now we're going to do a Subnautica med kit and this one is really easy. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to look from the front, shift A, mesh plane. I'm going to edit mode, rotate X90. And I want to scale this in the Z a little bit, make it a little bit more rectangular. Okay, so there it is. Press I to inset and pull in a ways. Something like that. I'm going to press 2 for edge selection and deselect and shift alt and click here. Turn a little bit to the side and pull this back. Just like that. Now, before I go any further, I want to duplicate this at this edge here, shift D. I'm going to take that and pull it back, P and break it out. And then it's going to take this and I'm going to press H to hide. Okay, now we're going to create the handle part uh, right away. So I'm going to go into edit mode and control R and drop an edge loop down there. And I'm going to control B to bevel and hold shift and pull apart and get the approximate width of the handle. It's going to come off the side here like this. I'm going to drop another edge loop right here in the middle and it'll be straight there. I'm going to pull it down and as I do it kind of curves or bend this, whatever. I want this about a quarter of the way in, maybe about there. I want to straighten that out. So I'm going to go SX0. Okay, so this part is going to make the handle. I need to do one more thing though. Control R, click, Control B and pull and separate. And then drop another edge loop down there, maybe right about there is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take in face selection number three. I'm going to get this part and these. And I'm going to cut out the handle right there. So let's delete those faces. So the handle's going to go there. Let's now curve this thing so it looks like a med kit. So we're in. Let's go to number two, edge selection, and shift and alt click there, here, here, and here. And let's bevel those nicely. Control B. Pull big notch like that, and then roll my mouse up one, two, three, four, maybe even five times to get it nice and smooth. Okay, and then I'm going to shift alt and click here, and I'm going to shift alt and click until I get all of the, not that, all of the edge going around the top part here just like that i'm going to bevel this down we're just going to watch that it doesn't overlap here we're going to, we're going to go awfully close though There's a lot of segments maybe i could roll back by one and i'll bring it down so it's kind of even and i get that effect so this is what we have so far now alt h i'm going to bring back this piece here that's going to form the back part I'm going to go into edit mode select it one for a vertex selection I'm going to bevel this as well but I think I'm probably going to s to scale it a little bit and then we'll shift control B not just control B shift control B and pull with I'm going to have five segments there I'm going to pull it down to it sort of matches the curve like that I press F to make a face let's pull it back so it sort of meets E to extrude, come back like this. We'll delete this back face. And then we'll in hit two for edge selection, shift alt and click here. And then we'll bevel this, control B. But I don't need too many segments. I'm probably in a few segments like that. And I'm doing the same kind of thing where these parts are kind of even with the last one. Okay, we can we can shade smooth. We'll have to do a little work with that. I'll just bring that a little bit closer. So this is what we're getting so far now. I'm actually going to hide that again. We'll come back to this. Let's not worry about shading yet. Let's give this some depth or thickness. All right, so over in the modifiers, let's choose solidify. And let's zoom in. I want to push it in this way. So I guess I'm pulling to the right. I'll have it about maybe that thick. All right, I'm going to go ahead and apply that. Let's try just with a bevel and see how nice of an effect we can get. Let's bring that up to three. And under geometry, let's choose arc. And we get this. Let's shade smooth. And to help with the shading, 
let's also add a weighted normal and normals auto smooth. I can alt H and bring back that other piece. We'll have a look at that. Okay, so I'm not liking the uh, edges yet, so let's see. Mm, maybe I'll scale it in the X a little bit. Just like that. This one, I mean, I could control one, and I probably would to make it look nicer, but that's maybe after I do that. So, okay, let's carry on. Let's have a look and make sure our polys aren't flipped and they're not, that's good. So we got that going on. We'll come back to the handle in a second. I'm gonna create a little uh, indentation here with some lights. So, Shift A, Mesh Plane, Rotate X90, scale this, bring this over, scale it in the X, and let's scale that in Z, maybe a bit more. Okay, let's round this off. We're gonna do a Boolean in a moment. Press one for vertex selection and shift control B, pull, and I'm gonna want five vertices in there, just like that. Okay, select it, move it out, extrude it back a little ways, and that may be flipped. See the, see the fact that it's red? So select it, Alt N, recalculate outside, because otherwise your Boolean's not gonna work. If you ever do a Boolean and it doesn't work right, always check that see if your polys maybe are flipped. Let's push that in, select the main body part here, add boolean, drag it to the top. So I have this piece ready to do boolean, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this one as well, go into edit mode, and you can see that this is overlying this edge, and I wanna to try to avoid that if I can. So I'm just gonna move this down, and it's gonna make life a little bit easier. All right, so now I'm ready to do my boolean. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm actually going to delete this part here, number three, face selection. Let's hide, let's hide this guy. That guy was in there, in the way. Uh, and I'm actually going to delete these, shift alt and click these faces, delete those faces. And we'll find some other stuff in here, edge. And I'm going to delete that. And I still have some lingering pieces here. Uh, let's make sure and merge by distance if there's anything. Let's, let's grab that edge and that part there. And then I'm going to push it in myself. E to extrude, don't worry about that, that's the bevel. Bring it in and then F to make a face. And I'll, I think I'll get a better result that way. Alright, so I did the boolean and I had to clean up some stuff. Now I'm going to shift alt and click the edge and make sure I get this. So shift and alt and click. And then I'm going to bevel this by hand. Do I need to bevel it? You know what? It looks good enough like that. We could probably leave it. Okay. That's always nice. Let's bring that other thing back. Okay. Almost done. Let's come over here and grab this edge. We're going to make the handle. Shift D to duplicate it and pull it out a bit. And then P to break it out. So I've got that piece there. I'm going to pull it back a little bit. And I'm going to also pull it down so it's sort of recessed in a little. Just like that. And then I'm going to extrude out to about the middle of this curve. E to extrude, pull out. Don't worry that it's not quite at the end yet. We're going to have to do some work there. All right, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to try looking down from the top and E to extrude and come out. I'm going to go into wireframe and one so I can see what I'm doing a little bit. And I'm just going to play with this a bit. Okay, so I've got that, and I'm going to drag it down to about here or so. Is that the entrance? That's about the entrance way. So I'm going to go a little bit further than that, so to about there. So this part may take a little bit of trial and error. Let's sort of angle it out a little bit so it's like you could grab that. Let's look at that in solid view. All right. Now, um. I may be able to get rid of this edge here. Let's try dissolving that edge and taking this. And if you want, you can switch to normal. It might help you. And I seem to have another one in there. Let's turn off the bevel for the moment and let's dissolve that edge. There we go. 
pull that down and just you know get it to work how you want it uh, I've got a couple of extra edges so I'm going to dissolve that edge I'll go back to global and take this part here and just pull it down okay so like I said we're gonna make a curve right so I'll just pull it to wherever you want we can adjust that again in a second okay so big bevel control B pull nice and smooth like that and another one like that all right so again you know <laughs> that may not have been the, the most perfect perfect way to do it but that's 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 all right so let's come in now and grab these two vertices and look from the front and let's pull them back a bit and let's let's bevel that shift control b pull and uh just do something like that that's okay so it's a little bit rounded and it roughly matches okay so let's take that and let's give that some thickness as well i can Put the bevel back on. We'll put the bevel back on in a bit. Let's solidify that. And I want it too thick. I'll bring that actually to the top. We'll go a little bit further down. And that's just all right. All right, choose your thickness. I'm gonna apply that. Let's slash and focus just on that and see what we've got. Don't worry about the, the discolorations because we've got uh, smoothing on. So now I'm going to come in here, I'm going to grab this end, that edge, and that end, edge, or end, and I'm going to bevel that. I'll probably have five segments in there, and shift alt and click all the way around the top. And while you're not really going to see the bottom, I'm just, just to be complete, I'm going to do that as well. So I'm going all the way around there like that, okay? Now it's time to bevel. I'm just zooming in on this area. Control B and pull. And then, you know, maybe I'll just have a total of three. Okay. And then now it should look nicer. Whether or not we need the bevel, I'll get rid of it for now. Slash key to bring that back. So you can put your hand in here and lift that up. Let's double check here. Everything's looking good. All right. And really for the modeling, the final thing is some dials here although i will admit i don't actually like the curvature here so i may work on that and do that part again sometimes you have to do that you don't always get it the first time so i'm going to bring my 3d cursor there and bring in a circle and i'll go for 24 vertices it's not exactly low 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 poly uh, because of this but i want it to be smooth i'm not going to put a subdivision on this so just make a circle like that maybe a bit smaller and I'll go into vertex uh, mode and extrude it out. And then, you know, in Subnautica, these are very simple. But I'm going to make them go in like that, E and S, and an F. So I'm going to create that. And then a 2 for edge selection. I'm going to shift alt and click there. And I'm going to bevel these, but just with like one or two segments there. And shade smooth. And I might end up having to put another edge loop in here. It probably would, so I'm going to do that right now. So I'll have that and just make sure that it goes in. And then uh, I'm going to shift D to duplicate it and pull another one there. And that's where those will sit. Although I might take this first one, select a bit and control L to select the rest of it and just pull it up a little bit. Okay, let's try with the cavity shader and with shadow on as well. And come over here and choose this and this is our model now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna mess with this and see if I can get a better result All right, this is the model that I come up with, and I'm gonna stick with that. 
in the next video we are going to unwrap this and texture it in substance painter but i will tell you right now that you could easily texture this in blender just with a um, very smooth low roughness maybe a bit of clear coat white color let's say and black color here black for these with an emission in the middle and maybe red for this and put an image of a cross on there but i'm going to do it in substance painter so we'll see you in the next video